wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay, so this is our, in case you're wondering what's making all the noise, who's panting terribly. Um, this is our paddock of paradise. So we're going to start here by the gates. There's the goats and the cows and the big main paddock. Riley and I are going to ride at the perimeter of our paddock, Paradise. So to the right we have our neighbours. Uh, she has quite a few thoroughbreds. Puppies, walk on. So this is the tightest part. You can see it's just a track width. The horses have it nice and worn, which is what we like. Shows that they've been moving through here a heck of a lot. Look out, Charlie! You'll get. Touch that electric fence and you're going to get stung. So if you hear a puppy go off, it's uh... probably Charlie getting done by the electric fence. Alright, so we're coming down to the corner. This is actually one of the wetter spots on the farm. Coming out of winter and into spring, so Riley's gonna negotiate the mud. Good boy. You right there, Riley? Yeah? So we call it a paddock paradise. We call it paradise, but the um pretty much just a, well it is a track system for the horses so that they can have more room to run all the way around. Walk on. So the reason the um, fence is, it's quite wide here. We did it really wide for starters because originally the um, blackberry on the fence on the right hand side was all the way out there. You can start to see some of the remainders of it. Um, we've had it cleared and the goats and the horses in fact now are keeping it right down which is lovely. Look out puppy! So that's ideal. Walk on. Just gonna pick our way through here. Come down to the back corner. So this leads off to the long line. Um, this is great having an off the track system because we just open the gate, let them out there for a couple hours, bring them back in. It saves us um, a lot of feed, it means that we can carry a lot more animals um, and keep them well fed by just rationing them. Horses will um, trample down a lot of food, a lot of it goes underfoot and gets wasted and torn up um, and a horse will eat as much as it needs in a day, it will eat that in four hours. So if you've got a chubby horse you want to put it on a track system and then put it out um, 
on the grass for maybe only two or three hours and that will be about 50 to 75 percent of its feed and that works really well for naturally or more naturally reducing weight we're lucky we have to um think more about reducing weight than putting it on with our animals they seem to inhale the smell of grass makes them fat that's Kaimana was for you they keep very well <laughs> it's Riley farting not me I promise dog's going downwind all right so now we'll go through the next part obviously you can see the soil down here is a bit more muddy so we have electric on both sides Just keeps them all safe and you can see how lovely and green the grass is oh, a bit of a shake on the other side and also we're going up and down we're not just um, a flat paddock So we started all the way over there by those trees and went down this way. So across here I've just, the neighbour cut down some trees and said we could use them. It's great for <coughs> dumb dog. Oi Charlie, well don't sit on the fence. Sat, literally sat on the electric fence. You daft dog. Come on, you're alright. <laughs> he didn't do it again, he just doesn't want anything touching his bum now. He got a shot right up the bum. Oh shush. Go on, me, get out of the way. Now we've got some mud to negotiate. If your animals hate obstacles like mud and things when you're out riding set up a paddock paradise where they're um they negotiate them all the time and that way they'll just go through them constantly and um and you won't have any problems they'll get so used to it they'll be doing it in their sleep So we do have quite a few bits to negotiate here, quite a steep quite a steep little hill slide. Followed by an uphill. Whoa. And another one. Good boy. That's where the trough is. And then we've got sort of an opening here <coughs> underneath the trees. In the summer they love it, they just stand under the shade. Say hello to the cows. Good morning girls. And Gary. Hi Gary. How are you guys doing? Hey, how's everybody doing? You good? Ah, oh, that's good. Gary's good. So, and that's where we started, just on the other side of that tree and headed down there. That is the paddock paradise. And the same thing happens if we want to open them up to more grass, we just open these gates, let them in there for a couple of hours, bring them out. Oh, 
the cows get the first lot. The goats are in there to keep all the weeds down. That's working really well. And that was our paddock paradise. So, that was our paddock paradise, or our track system. Thanks for riding around it with me. I hope it inspired you to maybe do something like that for your horses. I know our horses absolutely love it and it keeps their fitness up. We, we love it. We think it's a great way to keep our ponies trim and healthy and fit. So thanks. See you again soon. Bye. Thank you.